Welcome back. I have previously showed you how to segment using thresholding and grow from seeds algorithms. And right now I would like to show you uh, a little refining and more segmentation algorithms. So as you see and as I told you before, the um, models require some smoothing if you want to let's say 3d printing or even show it to anybody this does not look professional this does not look realistic so uh, what we do uh, as an alternative to refining it manually because you'll never get really nice and smooth result by doing manual painting and erasing you can use the built-in smoothing methods so again in your segment editor module you have the smoothing icon. I'm going to aim to smooth the liver. Once you click on smoothing, you'll get a few methods to choose from. Uh, the median is an average smoothing algorithm, which is relatively weak and uh, doesn't show you extreme results. So it's good and safe if you want to do just a little bit of smoothing. Then you have your opening and closing algorithms and as it says, the opening is used to remove extrusions. So let's say it will be good later for the aorta model when, where we have those uh, little, uh, little bubbles and little paints that we would like to remove those extrusions. This will be perfect for that. Closing, so which will be used if we had the uh, different situation uh, when we would have little holes in our model, let's say in this aorta, if we wanted to fill that little hole, then uh, algorithms such as closing would be perfect. But in case of liver, I think we need something strong and the smoothing method should uh, take everything into consideration and Gaussian smoothing is a really strong algorithm for that and using different parameters you have to play a little bit with those parameters it might be uh, too much or too little depending on your study I'm going with default three millimeters and once you apply it it will process and apply the smoothing to your selected uh, segmentation layer as you can see it smoothed the liver pretty nicely uh, it's still not perfect, but for me, it's it's already way better. As you can see, before we don't have all that noise and stuff that we wanted to smooth out. Now it's relatively ready to export and to uh, show it to a doctor or even to three D print it. It's relatively uh, ready. Let's try the same with our aort model. Uh, well, I said that uh, remove extrusions method would be good. Well, let's find out whether it will work or not. Again, uh, the kernel size over here, you might play a little bit whether three millimeters is too much or too little. Well, over here, it seems that it removed uh, this noise outside of the aorta. Let's see whether it uh, modified our anatomy too much maybe a little bit too much, maybe the kernel size was too big, but again, uh, this is mostly trial and error. Uh, definitely I would not use Gaussian smoothing method for uh, little structures, for little vasculature. Uh, I'd go for some things uh, more impactful, such as median opening or closing methods. Uh, over here, you'll see that there are more methods such as fill between slices, uh, and it basically interpolates segmentation between slices. So that means if you draw uh, your liver on one layer, then you go up, few, let's say, 20 more layers, and you use fill between slices algorithm, it should interpolate. And for me, this method didn't really work. Uh, and I, I really don't like this algorithm. So you might want to try it, but uh, it's definitely not my favorite. I'm skipping the description of the island, logical operators, hollow, margin. Uh, those are not 
very difficult tools to understand, but they are definitely not the most popular and they are more advanced, so uh, you'll probably want to look into them if you're making more uh, advanced segmentations. But those effects uh, are the all pre-built into 3D Slicer. However, you might be interested in looking into some external and additional algorithms that might be useful into in 3D Slicer. In the top navigation, you will see this second from the right button that will open your Extensions Manager. In Extensions Manager, you will find a lot of plugins for 3D Slicer, including segmentation plugins. Uh, there are currently 16 available, however, one of them has a lot of new algorithms uh, which is called Segment Editor Extra Effects. You can just install it and it will automatically uh, update your user interface. It contains uh, algorithms such as Fast Marching, Watershed, Flood Filling, those are also not uh, algorithms that are usually used but you might find them uh, interesting if you're making more advanced segmentations i'm not going to install them since uh, those are definitely not required and uh, those are uh, interesting only in very specific applications so we'll go back to that later <laughs> 